Hey, what's going on everyone? In this video, I'm gonna show you the resume that got me my first job, the resume that got me my second job. I'm gonna tell you where I was able to find a lot of resume advice online. And I'm gonna also share the template that I use for my resume and where you can find that. If that's something you're interested in, stay tuned. But real quick, if it's your first time here, I'm Dorian, a self-taught programmer. I started this channel to share my story with how I taught myself how to code to help motivate other people who are currently learning how to code. If that's something you're into, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. All right, let's get started with the resume that got me my first job. Okay, as you can see here, there's not much to it really. I had a qualification section which didn't really make much sense. I was kind of just trying to fill in the space on my resume. I really didn't have any education. I didn't have any experience in tech or web development or software development. So I was just pretty much, you know, putting in as many buzzwords as I could. And instead of just putting general experience that looks like was copy and pasted from, you know, web developer job postings, which I think that's what I did because I didn't know what to really put on there. I should have tried to focus on task and things that were more specific that I had accomplished when I was working as a freelancer and when I was working at the volunteer website. On the volunteer website, I think I did a tiny bit better on that, but I really didn't know how to write a resume at the time. And, you know, this was the best that I could do. And if you're making a career change and you can put stuff like education because you did go to school for something else, make sure to mention that on your resume. I couldn't, so I didn't have that to put on there. So I just had to make do and try to fill as much space as I could on that resume and, you know, use up that whole first page because I didn't want to leave it empty. So I did my best and it was a little fluff. It was a lot fluff. Um, and I say it was a lot fluff and a little just not having any experience and just trying to put whatever I could on there. And it was okay. It, you know, looking back now, I'm kind of like, how did I get hired? How did I get a job? I, <laughs> I don't, I, <laughs> I don't know. But, but honestly, it for someone at my skill level at the time, if I was looking at someone that was, you know, self-taught, you know, no, no schooling, and they brought this resume to me right now, I would say it's a good start. But it definitely needed a lot of improvement. I was working with a recruiter, and the recruiter did take this and you know fixed it up a little bit she also asked me for some bullet points and the bullet points were specific to like the job requirements that the the job had in the description and if it was anything that i had worked in the recruiter wanted me to write a little bullet on it just to try to you know highlight anything that might make me stand out as a potential candidate so yeah this the recruiter had me write this up for that first job so that first resume plus this is what you know helped me get that first interview for my first job that I ended up getting as a web developer that I was there for almost two years. So when I started applying for my second job, this was my first iteration of my resume. I kind of, you know, sent some feelers out and I turned to the internet and that's going to be some of the advice that I'm going to give you now. I found it very helpful on CS career questions subreddit twice a week you can post your resume and get advice on it but the truth is that I didn't get too much feedback there where I did get feedback was their discord group you know they have their discord group they have a good section on how to just set up your resume so just for like you know your starting point I would say go there first because you know, you go through through that just that small section that they have there and you'll already have a better resume from the jump and and you'll have a really good good starting resume. And then I suggest just going on Discord and going into the resume channel and start, you know, posting on there and just asking for help, you know, cover up your personal information, you know, anything that you don't want people to see don't don't put that on there and just ask for ask for help and people are very helpful i got a lot of help on that discord group there's other subreddits that are specific to resume advice and i got a little bit of help when i posted on those subreddits but by far the most help that was specific to you know what i was applying for which was like computer science jobs cs career questions subreddit and their discord group 
for for resume advice hands down best place i got so so after i got that uh feedback then i updated my resume to this and this was the resume that i started getting a lot of phone calls with when i was applying for my second job that first resume didn't get me many many phone calls to be honest with you but this second one did this second one started getting me a lot of calls and i started getting you know those first initial hr screenings and a couple of code challenges and stuff like that and i would always try to highlight things that would stand out for the jobs that i was applying for but this was it and this is the template that i used for my resume it was recommended by a few people when i was looking for resume advice so i just decided to use it I honestly liked it a lot, but there was a bit of a learning curve because it's in a language called uh, LaTeX. And so, yeah, it's kind of a little, it was a little bit of a pain to, to, to learn it. But if you're familiar with programming and like markup language and it, it wasn't that bad, but there is a bit of a learning curve, but the layout is really, really, really nice. It's a really nice layout. It's got a lot of stuff in it. You can you can tailor it to what you want and remove the sections that you don't need. And it also has a cover letter too. So I highly recommend it. Um, you will need to edit it on something like um, Overleaf, which I think it's free. And you know that's that's the only downfall because it, it is in uh, this this language. So it has a, like compile, um, which makes it a little bit of a pain. But if not, if you if you don't want to go through the trouble of doing that, I would at least say look at how it's structured and then kind of get an idea of how you should lay out your resume. I'm not going to go deep into resume advice. I just kind of wanted to show my resumes to, you know, give you all an idea of what the resume that got me my first job looked like and what my resume looked like after two years of a developer being self-taught. So... Yeah, and that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos on learning how to code and becoming a self-taught programmer. I'll see you next time.